What's up, automation enthusiasts? I am feeling so amazing today. I hope that all of you are doing well, and I hope that all of you guys are excited for what we got coming up right now. If you're new to us, we are QTPTutorial.net. You can go there for everything related to automated testing with unified functional testing, formerly known as QTP. And today, we are continuing along our topic of VBScript. We are learning the fundamentals, the best, most important building blocks of UFT to make you the best automated test engineers around. We've covered so much, and you guys are so far advanced. We've covered all of these topics and much more. And now we're going to continue on the topic of dealing with files and folders. So key if you want to build a fantastic automated testing framework. But before we proceed, I wanted to tell a quick inspirational story. I recently got an email from this one guy, and I'm not gonna mention his name, just in case he doesn't want me to, but I do wanna tell a story because it's kind of very cool and very inspirational. So what happened to this guy was he was at his company for over 10 years and he started out as a technical support specialist and then he was transitioned to a webmaster role. At some point his company started downsizing and cutting jobs and before he knew it his job was next on the chopping block and he was about to lose it. He was working you know full-time very busy guy and his job was reduced to a mere about three hours per month. So he pretty much didn't have a job anymore. And his company, because he was there for so long, offered him a position as a manual tester in the QA field. So he took it. Why not? You know, it's better than having no job. And he started that role, and about a month into it, the automated test engineer at his job left the position. And so that position of the automation engineer was open and it was offered to him because management knew that this guy was very bright and knew that this guy wanted to be challenged in the work environment and that he had a lot of skills. So they gave him the position and he was actually very happy. And he has never programmed with VBScript. He has never touched UFT. And now... He thrown, he's thrown into this role as an automation engineer for his company. And the cool thing is that after going through all the sites that he's seen, he came upon us and he became a very active member on our site, learning VBScript, learning UFT through our tutorials. And he seems to be very happy, or at least I hope. And I just think that's so awesome. I think it's so amazing how... We are helping to change lives. We are helping this guy maintain his job and become better at it and to actually, you know, live a fulfilling life. And I think that's so cool. It is stories like that that really get us inspired. It is actually why I'm feeling so great today because to get in and read that email, it's so inspirational and it gets me so excited to record tutorials for you guys and I never want to stop. So thank you so much for contributing that story. I hope you're not upset that I put you out there. I didn't state your name or anything. So you know who you are. You'll probably hear this. Thanks for that story. I appreciate you being honest and telling us that. And for any of you, anyone else that has such an amazing story, go ahead and share, guys. Just hop on the blog, share it on the comment section, and we love to hear it. We love to make changes in people's lives and to impact them in a positive way. That is what we're here for. And when that happens, it makes us happy. Anyways, just wanted to mention that. Hope it was as inspirational to you guys as it was to me. So let's go ahead and jump into files and folders.